Eumeclidinium is a long-acting muscarinic antagonist used as a long-term maintenance treatment of airflow obstruction in patients with chronic obstructive pulmonary disease, COPD. In this video, let's find found. What is eumeclidinium? What is eumeclidinium used for? Contraindication. What are the side effects of taking eumeclidinium? How does eumeclidinium work? How to use eumeclidinium? What is eumeclidinium? Eumeclidinium bromide, sold under the brand name Incruz Ellipta, is a long-acting muscarinic antagonist approved for the maintenance treatment of chronic obstructive pulmonary disease. It is on the World Health Organization's list of essential medicines. In 2020, it was the 245th most commonly prescribed medication in the United States, with more than 1 million prescriptions. What is eumeclidinium? Eumeclidinium bromide, sold under the brand name Incruz Ellipta, is a long-acting muscarinic antagonist approved for the maintenance treatment of chronic obstructive pulmonary disease. It is on the World Health Organization's list of essential medicines. In 2020, it was the 245th most commonly prescribed medication in the United States, with more than 1 million prescriptions. Contraindication Hypersensitivity to eumeclidinium or any ingredient in the formulation. Severe hypersensitivity to milk proteins. Side effects. Bladder pain. Bloody or cloudy urine. Body aches or pain. Chest pain. Difficult, burning, or painful urination. Difficulty with breathing. Dryness or soreness of the throat. Ear congestion. Pharmacodynamic. Following repeat doses of eumeclidinium 500 micrograms once daily, eight times the recommended dosage, for 10 days, eumeclidinium does not prolong QTC to any clinically relevant extent. In humans, the M3 receptor has been heavily implicated in the pathophysiology of asthma and COPD. Once the M3 receptor is activated, the phospholipase C would phosphorylate downstream targets, forming inositol 1, 4, 5 trisphosphate and eventually releasing intracellular CA2+. Increase in intracellular CA2 plus results in muscle contraction, thus worsening COPD and asthma-related bronchoconstriction. Additionally, M3 receptor activation also regulates pathways involving CD38, cyclic ADP ribose, CADPR, and ryanodine receptor channels, all of which control the intracellular CA2 plus homeostasis that will lead to muscle contraction. Mechanism of Action Eumeclidinium is a long-acting muscarinic antagonist, which is often referred to as an anticholinergic. It has similar affinity to the subtypes of muscarinic receptors M1 to M5. In the airways, it exhibits pharmacological effects through inhibition of M3 receptor at the smooth muscle, leading to bronchodilation. The competitive and reversible nature of antagonism was shown with human and animal origin receptors and isolated organ preparations. In preclinical, in vitro, as well as in vivo studies, prevention of methacholine and acetylcholine-induced bronchoconstriction effects was dependent and lasted longer than 24 hours. The clinical relevance of these findings is unknown. The bronchodilation following inhalation of eumeclidinium is predominantly a site-specific effect. Half-life The effective half-life after once daily inhaled dosing is 11 hours. Dose Chronic obstructive pulmonary disease. Indicated for the long-term, once-daily, maintenance treatment of airflow obstruction in patients with chronic obstructive pulmonary disease, COPD, including chronic bronchitis and or emphysema. 62.5 micrograms, one actuation, inhaled POQ day. Safety advice. Eumeclidinium has not been studied in pregnant women, and it is unknown whether it is excreted in breast milk. It is a pregnancy risk category C. That's all the information about eumeclidinium we collected. Thanks for listening. Do not forget to like, share, and subscribe for the He Info channel if you like this video to update more health information.